Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome back. You know, a good way to get your day started in the mornings is to have some form of mental exercise, and a simple math problem uh, works nicely for that. So we're going to start doing that on this channel. We'll have a morning math problem to work just to get our day started. Today, we're going to take a derivative. We're taking the derivative of this function, f of x equals 4x cubed minus 7x over x. Now, when taking this derivative, you might say, okay, it's a quotient, so I'll use the quotient rule. But that would be an example of working hard and not smart. You see, whether or not a function is a quotient of functions or a product of functions or a sum of functions, it's in a way a point of view we take to our advantage. And in this case, I would say there's a better way to do this rather than viewing this as a quotient of functions and using the quotient rule. And that is just to algebraically switch it up a bit. So let's rewrite this by breaking this up into two fractions. Right? Nothing wrong with that. And then we have 4x cubed over x, so that's actually just 4x squared. And then we have 7x over x, so that is 7. So this is the function f, rewritten in a different way. That is more to our advantage. Now we take the derivative. No quotient rule needed, it's just a power rule. And we're done. So the lesson here is to work smart, not hard, take the path of least resistance. And when you're trying to take a derivative in particular, it's always a good idea to see, can I rewrite this function in a way that makes the derivative easier for me? In this case, I think it's much easier to rewrite this as a simple, you know, polynomial and then taking that derivative with more basic, a more basic approach. And this is a good practice because A, if you take the path of least resistance, you're going to spend less time in problems. And B, the easier the path you take, the less likely you are to make mistakes along the way. So you should always try to work smart, not hard, and take the path of least resistance. Well, that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you guys next time.